everybody, John here. Today we're going to take a look at the Power Trip Smack Leather Glove available now at cruisercustomizing.com. <laughs> If you're looking for an inexpensive leather glove, but you want something that's extremely comfortable, the Power Trip Smack Leather Glove is probably what you want to look at. This thing actually blends leather and some textile mesh in here to make this thing flow a ton of air, plus make it one of the most comfortable leather gloves out there. So let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. Before we get started on the glove, let's talk about how it fits. It fits really good. I've actually got the extra large on. I typically wear an extra large glove, so I'm gonna say it runs true to size. I do, however, have relatively short fingers and the pinky's got a little bit of extra room in it. The rest of the fingers, just a tad extra. So true to size, this is how almost every single pair of good fitting gloves I own fits me. So definitely a nice comfy fit roomy they already feel broken and the leather feels absolutely fantastic now i'm going to go ahead and take this one off while we talk about the intricate components of what make up this fantastic and extremely comfortable glove to begin with the leather on this thing is extremely soft it's very supple, it's very pliable, and when you get it, it feels like it's already been broken in. If you've got a really nice pair of leather riding gloves and you've worn them for several years and you put them on and they've got plenty of flex in there, plenty of give, you have no problem feeling where you're at, but they still feel like they're going to protect you in the event of an accident, that's exactly what you're going to get with the Power Trips right out of the box. These things already feel like they're broken in. And we've got key areas on this thing that they have gone above and beyond to make this one of the most comfortable gloves right out of the box. Right on the knuckle area here, they're actually got almost like a spandex or neoprene type material, which allows for a tremendous amount of flex. Now this knuckle guard, it has been doubled up in this key impact area here. You've got leather underneath that's perforated. You've also got leather on the top that's solid. So it's still gonna flow a little bit of air, but not quite as much as the rest of the glove. But you wanna make sure you have that impact resistance and abrasion resistance in that key area there. Now this whole panel does float. And on the side here, I don't know if you can see it, it's actually got a little piece of that spandex or neoprene there as well. As far as the perforation on this one, you're gonna have that right in the front fingers there that's gonna let some air penetrate through. On the back, of the hand, you're also going to have perforation. Now that's not going to give you the maximum amount of cooling that you're going to want on those really warm days. So what they've done in this area over here that's not necessarily a key impact area, you've actually got a textile mesh and it wraps all the way up almost to the back of the thumb there and then around the wrist all the way to the back. That's going to let this thing flow a whole lot more air than just some perforations there in that leather. As far as protection goes, Leather is one of the most abrasion resistant materials out there. That's why almost every single race suit is made of it. So on the inner portion here, we've got a full leather chassis all the way down to the bottom. On the thumb, we've got some perforations on this outer portion, but it has been doubled up to make sure you can get some airflow there. And then in the palm area, as well as the inner portion of the hand, you're gonna have doubled up leather there as well to make sure that abrasion resistance is where you need it the most. That second layer is a little bit thinner and it's almost suede-like, so it's actually gonna help you hold on to the handlebars as well. But for the value you're gonna get here, these are one of the most comfortable leather gloves as well as something that feels like it has been spent, they have, Power Trip has spent a lot of time making sure that they built this with quality in mind. Also, one other feature I didn't point out while we were on the palms here, it does have that reverse stitch around the fingers so you don't have any of that finger bunching. All of those seams are turned to the outside to make sure, again, these are one of the most comfortable gloves out there. So if you're looking for a simple black leather glove, you don't wanna spend a lot of money, but you wanna make sure that you have the protection you need as well as the comfort that you desire to make sure you can put in those long miles on the bike, definitely check out the Smack Glove from Power Trip. It's one of the most comfortable ones out of the box for the price. And honestly, at this price point, there's nothing that even comes close to competing. If you do have any questions with these gloves, I do wear them quite a bit. 
let me know in the comment section below. Also, we have a subscribe button in the lower right hand corner. Click on that one so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And in that top right hand corner over there, there's going to be an info box. If you click on that, it'll actually take you to our website. You can check out all the close up pictures of these Power Trip Smack Leather gloves and go ahead and purchase a set. We're going to run out of these soon. They are on closeout. So if you want a pair, make sure you get them soon before we run out because we're not going to be able to get them again for this tremendous deal. Until next time, everybody, thank you so much for watching. My name's John. Please ride safe.